Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's Zara haul. So we're going a bit spring vibes. We're talking blazers, trench coats, jeans. What else have I got? A few nice basics. Trench coats of dreams. Blazers of dreams. It's a great Zara haul. I'm excited for it. It's a big one. Get yourself a cuppa. Sit down somewhere comfortable. Give this your full undivided attention. Make sure you subscribe with the number button on and hit that like just to say you're excited for this video. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Katie. Welcome back to another video. And let's get into today's video. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to remind you of our amazing sponsors. So today's sponsor is HelloFresh. And you guys will know, I actually really like cooking, but sometimes, <laughs> I say sometimes, a lot of the time, it's the last thing on earth I want to do. The last thing on earth. The last thing on earth I want to do is go food shopping, think about what I've got to cook, and then cook it. So the wonderful thing about HelloFresh is that it comes to your door with exactly what you need to make the meals, and they even have like so many recipes to choose from. So it's literally like, my best friend <laughs> is the best thing ever. So I just, I'm really excited to share with you guys today the offer they've got on. So normally these offers are for new customers, but this one is actually for people, can be for new or if you've ever shopped with them before, which is amazing because I have, and I always hate it when you feel like, you know, just because I've bought from you, I still want a good deal. Um, so there's an amazing deal that they've got on. It's 60% off your first box. Um, I'll leave all the details on the screen and down below in the description box. As you can see here, here's a few little of the meals that I made this week. They were absolutely delicious. The pancakes were phenomenal and a really nice like extra that I didn't know HelloFresh did. So they do do these lovely like sides and extras and things like that. So definitely have like a good old browse and you have a look online. My discount code is Katie Helland. I will leave it on the screen, but you can also scan the QR code. How high tech? I know, not something I ever thought would come out of my mouth, but I'm very happy that this, this level of technology is so easy now. So you can literally pause the screen, scan the QR code with your camera on your phone, and it takes you straight to shop the deal. Literally amazing. And then obviously you pop Katie Helland in at the checkout and you get the discount. And I'm pretty sure there's some offers off the next boxes for you as well. So make sure you don't miss them. Um, and yeah, the food was so good this week. I really, really enjoyed them. And Definitely worth a try if you've not tried them before. I'm starting off with a banging blazer. Is this not, I have to go back. Is this not the most dreamy gray blazer ever? I feel like I've been looking for a decent gray blazer. Getting the right tone has been difficult. It's been challenging, but I think it might be there. I'm not gonna lie, the buttons, they could have gone a little bit more bougie with, 50 quid. But let's try it on, see how it fits. I'm thinking styling this like so, so many ways for summer. This is obviously a very versatile piece, can be worn all year round, which we love. It's a nice length, nice oversized fit. I always feel like with blazers for more summery look rather than like the office look, I like them rolled up a little bit. Now you can buy these like really cute elasticated things that go around here, or you can just use like a simple hair bobble and tuck it into the creases, um, which works really well. And I feel like, look how easy, I've just popped it over literally what I'm wearing today. And it's a really simple everyday outfit. Pair that with a pair of trainers, really, really easy styling. Um, it's, yeah, really nice length, nice and oversized. I've got a large, it's got shoulder pads in as well, and it's 50 pound. I will leave all the links down below for you guys. As always, um, and my Instagram that I upload daily, daily fashion content and daily story content on there, uh, where I'm to just see a bit more of my reality, really, my real life. Um, but yeah, I'm liking this as a first piece. Very impressed, Sarah, with this one. I think this might be the blazer I have been looking for. So I might have to stay. Next, I have a very cute. I'm loving the stripes at the minute. You'll see there's quite a few little stripy bits. Um, a very cute, this is more summery, spring summery vibe, um, a little crew, mini, I can't speak, a little cute cropped striped tee 
This is only $7.99. I love Zara Basics for like everyday sort my wardrobe out stuff. I'm just gonna pop it on just so you can see how it fits, but I already know I'm gonna love it and I'm pretty sure this came in quite a few different colors. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was gonna love it, it's so cute. I feel like whenever I find a basic that I love like this, because look at this length, it's the perfect length. You've got like a tiny bit of belly if you want it, but you can make it also long enough to go into something high-waisted, which I normally is what I live in. Perfect basic. I just buy it in every colour that it's available in because I know staples like this are hard to find, especially at 7 99 Bloody bargain, love that. Nice little blazer over the top, very casual. Biker jacket over the top, bit of day look, dress it up. Oh, I love basics. I literally love basics. They're just the best spring, summer, forever wardrobe, stunning. I have been wanting to try a waistcoat for a little while. Now we've had a bit of a fail with the trousers I bought to go with this. They're completely a different tone. Don't know how Zara got that quite so wrong on the website. Because you know it literally looks like it's matching but then you click on it and you order it and it comes and it's a completely different tone. I'll just show you. Don't get me wrong, they're a really nice colour trouser but they are stone and this is like a berry cream cream like a custard cream and this is stone so they do not match at all so this is going to look like a really chic suit i'll only see a picture here it's not going to look like that because i don't have the trousers however i think i'm going to pair it i'll just pair it with these trousers again these trousers i am living in at the moment they're actually from river island they've got elasticated back and like they're just super flattering if any of my if any of you guys are watching and you're a size you're like almost tall. I'm five foot nine, which is like on the edge of tall. These are a great length trouser and they're so comfy. If you struggle with bloating, oh, I literally love them. I'm living in them. I'm just going to try this. Okay. Now, I didn't know if I was going to love these or not. So how much is this? 35.99. <sighs> I'm like really in two minds about these. I half feel like they just look like what men wear at weddings. And I half feel like feel that they look really chic and just like you need to just put yourself out there a little bit it's a little bit gapey on the boobs maybe if I had a bit of a better bra on it actually would fit quite nice hmm what do we think leave me a comment and let me know what you're thinking of the waistcoat my brain completely went then it is Friday my brain is switching off for the weekend and I have been a little bit ill I've actually got a little like sore up my nose and I've been a little bit run down this week. So if I'm all over the shop, I do apologise in advance. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I love it. I do like it. I like it more than I thought I would. I just don't know on what occasion I would wear it for. I feel like it's definitely more like a dressed up date night, maybe an event kind of vibe. Like this with some heels or this with some loafers. I don't know, leave me a comment, let me know. Undecided on this one. Um, and I do actually like the colour on me. When I was looking at the colour like on the hanger, I was like, hmm, looks a little bit custard creamy, but oh, I don't know, I do like it on. <laughs> okay, next I have a dreamy dress. This looks insane. Now I'm praying this looks as good on me as it did the model. Let's just hope. I ordered it in a large, and for reference, I'm a UK size 12. Uh, definitely could do with a little iron. It's lovely midi, probably mid axi on most, most normal heights, dress, £45.99, I think it's good for a dress, anything under 50 quid, I'm always like, that's a bit of a bargain, for like a nice structured, good quality dress, so let's just try it on. Okay, I like it, it's a bit snug for a large, I feel like Zara sizing is all over the place at the minute, I ordered some large pieces last week, and the trousers, I'm not being funny, you could have fit one and a half of me in there. And then I've got something like this, which is like clingy AF. I mean, it's meant to be tight, but it's quite cling, isn't it? I'm not loving the cling. I do love the shape and the style of the dress, however. It's very classy, very flattering. I say flattering, it's a bit, a bit clingy on my belly, but it is a very lovely like, structure and good quality for the price. Really nice for like a special event. I was thinking engagement party vibes. 
if I do have an engagement party. Um, what do you guys think? I'll try and show you the full length. Also, I wanted to know, do you like it that I'm like, got them on talking to you? Or do you prefer it when I have cutaway and I'm talking about it in the cutaway? Let me know that as well in the comments because that'd be really, really handy. Um, because obviously I want to just make what's more useful for you guys and more helpful for you guys. And I do feel like I've lost my, my way a little bit over here on, on the U of the tube. Um, if there's any videos you want to see, as always, just leave me a little comment. I like the split at the back, I do. I like the length of it as well. I think with a little pair of heels and a nice, some nice jewellery, this could look very classy. Let me know what you think down below. I think it also came in black as well, which obviously would be a little bit more flattering as it hides any other little bits. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm saving you the trench, guys, for the last. <laughs> There's two and they're phenomenal. So you've got to hang around till the end to see them. Now this looks like an absolute dream. I got a pink suit. It's like that powder pink stunning suit. I absolutely think it looks insane. I'm really praying it looks as good on me as I want it to. The top is $59.99 and the trousers are $35.99. So under £100 for the suit, it's not so bad. Let's try it on. Okay, so I really like these worn, like with a bralette under. And I actually just had a bralette on handy already rather than a top. But obviously if this was going to be like business attire, we'd be swapping that out for something a little bit more smart. But I'm thinking, I've got a friend's birthday in London next week and I was thinking an outfit for that. However, I'm feeling, and I did think this might be the case when I saw the trousers online, I'm feeling like the shape isn't the most flattering on me. Like they fit, but they're snug. And that's not really the look I wanted to go for. I wanted like a wide leg trouser, whereas they're more like fitted and then flare out at the bottom. I will just show you the bottom. Um, you see that? They've got like a little bit of a flare bottom. I'm not really feeling that flare. We're not, we're not going backwards into the 90s and the flares or the 80s and 70s, whatever era it was, I'm, I'm not a flare. Nah, I'm not feeling the trousers, which is super unfortunate because I love the fit of the blazer. Absolutely stunning. I love the shape, love the length. It's actually quite nice that it does go down all over the bum as well. You don't really get that normally. It's normally like here, isn't it? So I think that adds a little bit of like classiness to it. Very nice for like an office attire, I would say. Maybe not quite what I was looking for, but the blazer is stunning. The blazer is stunning. Do I just keep the blazer anyway? I do have pink blazer from Zara, but it was last summer. Yeah, last summer. Um, and it's very oversized, not fitted at all. Whereas this is lovely and fitted. It's got shoulder pads in. Uh, it's got a little black bit of detail, black buttons. Hmm. Do we keep the blazer? <laughs> Leave me a comment. Let me know if we're keeping the blazer or not. Right. Thinking more into spring vibes now. This paired with like some really nice white ecru jeans or maybe like white ecru trousers. Oh, it's gonna look divine. What I love about this is the extra detail it's got at the back. How cute. It's got like literally a fold a bit over, little tie bit. This is so cute. I've been looking for a really nice shirt like this for a long time. I do find, however, they're always normally really big and I like them to be a little bit oversized, but I don't want them to be like huge that I'm struggling to tuck them into things. So I did size down this one to a medium. So we'll see how that fits. It's $35.99. I'm gonna pair it with a pair of white jeans that I picked up as well from Zara. And we'll see how that looks. So I just decided to pop this top on quickly um, because I'm just gonna have a little break and have my lunch. And it's super, super cute. Definitely would be keeping it, but it's got a little mark on it. So I'm gonna order another to replace it because I love the color. I think this is gonna look great spring, summer. Um, I really like this muted, like, sage tone. I think it'll go with a lot. And then I also picked up the same in a grey, which I'm 100% know I'll be keeping as well. Another little perfect Zara basic. I picked these up in a medium. They're 5 99 I literally have this in pink and blue from last year and white. 
and I wore them so much so I just know I'll get so much wear out of them. They're perfect for just like jeans, shorts, skirt, popping a blazer on top of. They're just like the perfect shape, height, length, everything. Absolutely obsessed with these. I lied, I picked this one up in a medium and the other one up in a large. I definitely am gonna go for the large, it's a bit too snug, um, but I'll be swapping this one for a large. I could get away with it, but I can slightly see my bra through, which makes me feel like it's stretching a bit too much, you know? Um, but for 5 99 literally run, run your ass <laughs> to get some because they're just the perfect staple. Oh, I love them. Okay, so I'm feeling the shit. I am feeling the shit. Jeans, however, I'm not feeling. I'll show you the bottoms of in a minute. They're a bit more like collots in length. I don't know why they've rolled the leg up. When they're not rolled up, they're all right. They're just quite baggy on the ankle. But anyway, I've tucked the front in just to show you what I'd actually wear it like. Uh, quite cute, quite nice fit actually. A little bit oversized, but not like I say, they're like massively oversized. But look how long the back is. Um, so if I left it out, you can see how long that is. But it's really, really cute, really, really nice. Like, could easily just wear it there, super casual. Um, really nice, easy to like dress up or dress down. Chuck like a denim jacket over it for more casual look. Or obviously you could like dress it up for an office-y look, even though it's a little bit oversized. So really nice find that one. Really, really like that. And I like all the detail on the back as well. It's nice just to have a bit of extra, isn't it? A little bit of extra detail with the jeans. I've got one rolled down and one rolled up. <laughs> so I shall show you how they are. Um, so this is what I mean, they're a bit like collots, like super high on my ankle, but that's because they're rolled up. Then if they're not rolled up, I mean obviously you'd have to eye out the crease, but you could definitely wear them with like a trainer like that, actually. They do fit quite nice, they put them like the buttons all the way down, which sometimes I feel like makes them look bulky, but it's not really making them look too bulky. They are relaxed boyfriend jeans. And I picked them up in a size 12. Yeah, the fit on them is decent. It's I say true to size, regular 12. They're 45 pound. They're not exactly what I was looking for, so I'm not gonna keep them because of that. They're a little bit too, too baggy on that ankle, which is why I think why they've tried to make them look a bit more like this. I don't hate it, and I think with a pair of heels, or dressed with like a pair of sandals, it's a little bit more, um, a little bit more of like a summer trouser than I was looking for. I was looking for more of a spring jean, but I think they're a bit more of a summer jean. I don't know, I'm kind of liking it untucked, you know. Hmm, they are bloody comfy, especially when, you know like when you have a new jean, they're never normally comfy. <laughs> they're surprisingly comfy. I do find that with Zara jeans, I do find that they are Right, like, like if you get a good pair, like they're amazing and normally amazingly priced. I feel like they're a little bit more pricey than I'd normally pay for a Zara jean. It's bloody really cold. Um, you have to laugh at me wearing my slippers and these. Why am I taking these off on camera? Am I all right? I think I'm. I think I'm not not with it. You know. Um, <laughs> luckily you can't see. Um. What am I trying to say? It's really, really cold in here today. That's why I had my slippers on. <laughs> I wouldn't actually style it with them. I'd style it probably with like, like I said, some sandals, some loafers, some Birkenstocks, something like that. Maybe a heel for an evening -y look, but they're really lovely, excuse me, lovely white. And this is the button detail on the waistband. So let me know what you guys think about them. Are they a keep, are they a return? I think the shirt's definitely a keep because it's like something, it's like a nice wardrobe staple that I've been looking for for a long time. Finally found one that like fits, isn't like 16 foot long. Um, I like the back detail on it and yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. I quite like a pink version of this as well. We shall see. While we're talking about shirts, I'm just gonna go on to this one as well super quickly. I'm not sold on this, but let's try it on and see what it's like. I'm not really loving the button details. I feel like they're a bit silver gold. You know when it's like in between? It's like, are you silver? Are you gold? Don't love it. I feel like it does look a little bit cheap. Could be styled really nicely though, actually, saying that. We could try and style it. 
to make it look a bit better. I might try it with them stone trousers. Just because I've got to style them with something. <laughs> now they've arrived and I have no idea what I ordered them to, have to come with. Right. Got carried away again. I'll put the striped shirt on in a second. Thought this would look nice with the grey. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. I didn't know this was navy. Thought this was black. I've had a bit of a fail with a few things here. Also realised these trousers I thought were meant to be the same as this grey. As you can see, very different greys. We're not having a great time with the colour tones in this uh, haul, are we? Nice pieces, just unfortunately don't bloody go together. So I'm thinking this would actually be nice with a white jean, like dressed up quite smart. Pretty sure it had a matching skirt. Pretty sure I ordered it, don't know where that is. Um, <laughs> it is like a boucle, really nice detail, lovely shoulder pad, like cropped blazer. Um, I do really like it. You'd have to wear something underneath it. I'm not really feeling like it's a, a bra that vibe underneath. So just something sort of simple underneath and plain. I think with a matching skirt and then some like cream boots, this would be a really cute look. Uh, yeah, I do like it. Right, now onto the shirt that I was meant to try on initially. Okay, no, I didn't think I'd like this and I don't. Sometimes things transform when you put them on. It feels very pajamery or very like old school office for me. Not feeling it, not loving it. Um, it's quite oversized as well, like quite, there's not any shape to it. Obviously I would wear it tucked in, I wouldn't wear it out like that. So we could give it some shape styled into the right, maybe like into like a navy wide leg trouser. That would be quite nice uh, with a heel for our businessy work look. If you're looking for like work wardrobe, maybe. Price on this is $29.99. I don't hate it. I think it's just how I've currently got it on. I'm not loving it. Not feeling it. Not really me. Um, I'm loving the trousers. The fit on these is unreal. Um, I am loving and living in a wide leg trouser at the minute. These are fantastic. I feel like you need to go back a bit more. These are fantastic. Literally like the perfect length. Look at that. I've got like a chunky slipper on, but if I was going to go flat with a trainer, they're even a bit long. I'm five foot nine. This is nuts. I do love Zara for this though. Um, however, if you're like a you know, average height, they're going to be quite short. So you'd have to wear like a chunky trainer or a heel, heeled boot, something like that. You couldn't wear something flat with them, but they are a really lovely size, really lovely style, really lovely fit. Like the fit on them is perfect. It's just, just enough room that when you sit down and you expand, it's going to be comfy. So yeah, I'm loving the trousers. Obviously, <laughs> won't be styling them with this shit, but they are wide leg trousers have become my staple at the minute like i'm just living in them they look good with like sweatshirt jumpers they look good with t-shirts they look good with shirts they look good with like roll neck jumpers dress up dress down like they're so versatile i can't even tell you and they're only 32.99 that's what i'm talking about that's the zara that we love that is the zara that we love 32.99 yes that i can get on board with I got them in a large UK size 12, I said I am. And they fit fantastic. I am really enjoying those. I am a little bit sad they don't go with that blazer though. I feel like I need to either find the matching blazer or the matching trousers. So I have a set. I'm not gonna keep both individually because I want them to like be able to be worn together or separate. So I'm gonna go on the hunt for that. and I'll let you know how I get on. Let's move on. I've got two more dreamy blazers to get you through, a few more pairs of trousers and then trench coats. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna to talk to you about these. These are in the sale. I am obsessed with this heel. There is a slight gap, but it does kind of look like a bit like a platform. The shape on the toes is an actual dream come true and they're in the sale. They were half price. The label on them says 79.99 and they were half price of 50 something pound. And I'm obsessed. The sand beige colour is stunning. 
I've got one on my other foot right now. It's not the most comfy. I think there are seven and I sometimes have to go up to an eight in Zara. So unfortunately they're a little bit snug. So if you're in between sizes, I'd say go up. I just love, I absolutely love. These look good as jeans, dresses. Perfect for spring, for spring. Perfect, like the perfect color. They'll go with everything. <gasps> Let me know if you love them as much as I do. I think they must be real suede because if they're 80 pound normally, they must be. Oh, they're leather. They feel like suede. They're leather, who knew? But yeah, what a little cowboy boot dream. They're kind of like on the cowboy boot trend, but like not being too cowboy boot, aren't they? Because they haven't got the cowboy boot bit here. But I feel like here they kind of look like them. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know. I also have on a blazer dress that on the label says XL and on here says L. So I'm thinking it's the label size because it seems quite roomy. I really like it, however, but I definitely think I need the, the large, not the extra large, because obviously it's not, it's not me, I know it is quite big, which is a shame because this is really cute. Again, I was thinking about something to wear to my friend's birthday in London, um, maybe with some heels on. The colour is perfect. The buttons on it are really sweet as well. It's really lovely, love, love the detail. Detail on the buttons is beautiful. I love the color tones in it. It's absolutely stunning. It is literally lush. It's 80 pounds, 79.99. Um, but unfortunately, I'd say it's a little on the big side. Like I could definitely put a little stitch there just to avoid that situation happening. But I just feel like it doesn't really give me any shape. It just sits on top of my body. If it was a large, I'll just put my slippers back on. <laughs> if it was a large, I feel like it would probably fit really nicely um, because the colour tone is stunning. I'm going to be living in this, this pink. I just can tell. Springtime, for me, is going to be beiges, sages, and this baby pink. Mm. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm here for it. I'm also really enjoying navy at the minute. Anyone else? I else really enjoying navy, navy and beiges, navy and tan together. Mm. Okay, I've popped the like beige coloured trousers on. I picked these up in a medium to try. They're definitely a little bit snug around the waist. I have just had my lunch, but I wanted to just try a medium and see how they fit in because sometimes in Zara, the large is just a little bit too big. It's like an inch or like maybe even a centimetre just too big, which is frustrating because I just feel like they never fit quite right. Um, and I think these beige trousers would pair lovely with these loafers I picked up. Uh, they're a little bit more creamy again than I thought they were gonna be. I feel like color tones online are really hard to tell at the minute. I'm just like a bit all over the place with them. They're 49.99. They are real leather. I'm just gonna try one on for you guys to let you know the size in. Okay, I can't get my foot in it. There are seven and I normally wear a seven. Sometimes I got to an eight, but I would have to go up to an eight. I actually can't get my heel in it. However, they don't go with these jeans, these trousers either. So just forget everything I'm saying about that because they don't go. The colour tones completely clash. This is much more of a greyish trouser I've got, and these are much more creamy. They are a really nice loafer, however. <laughs> very nicely made, very good classic pair. Nice with some jeans, white jeans blue jeans, black wide leg trousers that I had on earlier. Very cute, but not with the jeans I've currently got on. Oh my God, not even jeans, what am I wearing? I'm wearing trousers. I just wanna show you guys them for the fit, really. I think these are exactly the same as the gray that I just had on. Um, however, they're a medium. They, I mean, they're on, but they're tight, aren't they? I mean, I'd have to lose a, a few pounds, which I'm not planning on doing. <laughs> So they'll probably be going back. I mean, they do fit. They're just a, a little bit snug. I just wish they'd make an in-between size. Can they make a size in between medium and large, please, for me? Just for me. Just for me. I can't be the only one, though. Um, but yeah, they are really lovely. Lovely, like, length again. Lovely fit everywhere else. Just a bit snug around here. That's it. 
fit my bum quite nicely, a little bit tight, a little bit tight my butt too. Um, <sighs> that's unfortunate, but these are both $32.99, same as the grey ones. So price point is great. I'm thinking these must be like a size 11. And those are more like a size 13. And where's the 12 that's in between, please? I think I'd start over this blazer, but I just want to chuck it on top to see the colours together. Cute. I do love a combination of like all the neutral colours. I would chuck them with a bit of stripe. I do like this. This is a very easy everyday look. Very easy. White trainer on the bottom now. Stunning. Stunning. This blazer, for me, I think is a bit of a staple. I think it's going to be like the perfect chuck you on blazer throughout the springtime. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, I feel like this Sarah haul is all over the place, guys, because it's not what I imagined. But I still wanted to show you the pieces because the pieces individually can be worn greatly with other things it's just unfortunate that they're not going with the things i planned them to go with in my head because the fucking colors online look different so we've got two pairs of jeans two trenches and we are done i know it's been a long one thanks for sticking with me if you're still here hit that thumbs up if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button I promise next time i will have my shit a bit more together hopefully or Z maybe zara will have their shit together more not me right so you guys just saw me get into a medium right and now i can't get into a 12 jean this is what I mean about the inconsistency of sizing. How is one meant to know what freaking size to order when I can get into a medium, which is meant to be a 10 trouser, but I can't get into a 12 jean? So luckily I did buy them in a 14 in the black. I mean, I can do them up, but I can't breathe. Oh, I don't even know if I can do the zip up actually. I mean, that's not fun, is it? Well, that's not fun. No one wants that. <laughs> it's a shame because the length on them is divine. Look at the length on them. They've also got a really lovely split in the inside, which I am loving. Look at that. Perfect with my Birkenstocks. Perfect with my trainers. <sighs> Such a shame. They're only $29.99. Maybe they'd stretch. Okay, I've got them on now. Make my butt look good. <laughs> oh, it's unfortunate, isn't it? It's unfortunate. But I'm gonna show you the trench now, one of them. It's a faux leather trench. It might even be leather, I think it's faux leather. That's a dream. That's a dream of a trench, guys. It's stunning. I picked up a, I think it must be a faux leather trench from ASOS last year and I didn't keep it and I regretted it because I was like, I don't think I'll wear it. Felt like it looked a bit Matrix vibes in it. And then obviously leather has become like the thing, hasn't it, over the last few months. I'm gonna have to be really chic and just put my slippers on guys. My feet are knobbling. <laughs> with how cold it is right now it's meant to be spring coming up oh i can't cope with this weather but however that's gonna feel it's a bit big it's a bit big 99.99 and you can't even get your sizing right what's that about no i'm joking it's actually quite nice it's a little it's a little bit big a little bit oversized probably could have got away with medium how does one know what size to order? I mean, this is a reoccurring theme. It's not like it's a new thing, is it? But it does frustrate me with Zara, which is why it's better to go in store and try things on. However, we have a shit Zara in Swansea. We have a really good Zara in Cardiff though. So, but to be honest, I say that it's a lush store, but the stuff in it isn't great. The menswear in it's great. I always pick up really nice bits for recent there. So this is it done up, too big I think, I'm like trying to savour it a bit with the waistband which is helping but it's making it stick out a bit like a, it's making it look very bottom heavy which is not ideal, however it's a very nice trench. 
it's a very nice trench. It's a very nice length, very nice tone. Loving it with the um, stripe underneath. Definitely would wear it with the stripe and then just like a regular jean, I think. Not the colour jeans I've got on right now. Um, yeah, I do really like it. It's warming me up. It's got lovely detail. I love this on the, on the collar. I mean, I don't know why they do these because I feel like you're never actually ever going to do it up. It's got like some hidden buttons under here. Like, what are they actually for? Oh, we've got a thing here. So you can do this all the way up. Never going to get done up like that, though, is it? Because it looks stupid. Have you ever seen anyone with it done up like that? They're in France. <laughs> they need to pull it off somehow. Parisian chic. I am feeling the colour. I am feeling the colour. I'm feeling the style. I do really like it. I just think... If you're going to wear layers under it, be fine. If you're going to wear like a big jumper under it and stuff, go for this size. But if you're going to not, my intention would be to wear it this, you know, maybe this time of year, but in a few months' time, a month or two. Hopefully when the weather's a bit warmer, I'm going to need it sized down. Because I'm planning on wearing it like with a t-shirt and some regular jeans. Not these. Um, which we'll have around us now. Let's see how we get on. It does actually look quite nice like this with the black jean doesn't it so the black jean I picked up in a 14 much better fitting I can breathe not gapy not big actually this is quite nice quite agree on this is a little bit of a look chuck a little converse on or vans or beiges or any trainer I'm just loving trainers right now without fits yeah, I think we saved the best all last, guys. This is probably my favourite piece of the haul. May also have it to try on in black. So let's just try that really quickly. Um, and I think maybe the blazers are my other favourites. All the blazers, basically, because they were all divine. Like the brown or the grey, probably the best. Oh, and the pink was stunning. I just wish that pink trouser suit was like the one. <laughs> I'm in love with anything faux leather at the minute. I feel like it just, it just makes you look chic without really trying. And that is what I'm all about. I'm all about comfy, chic, effortless vibes. If I can look chic without making much effort and I'm comfy, I am a happy human. Right, let's get this all and try it on. So yeah, let me know if you've liked this more like relaxed try on as we talk it through kind of vibe or if you prefer me to do the cutaway where I'm wearing it here and talking about it here. I should have definitely ordered the size down to compare but I didn't think that it would be this big to be honest. Um, however, I do like how it looks on. I will size down to a medium because I mean look how much belt there is. Ah found, I have found a really nice way to finish styling these belts. I'm going to show you. My friend show, taught me the other day. So you go up through here and then down through here. And then it just look like finishes it off really cute here. Right, this is the black one on. Like I said, I should have gone down a size, but I still really like how it fits. At least you could fit some layers underneath it. And it is a nice length. So Although, like I just said, a bit, I felt like a bit matrixy in the last one I had. This one, I think the length doesn't make you feel like that, which is nice. And like all the detail that they've got going on, um, like on the sleeves and the belt on the waistband. There's no like gold hardware or silver hardware on it, which I really like. And I like that the black buttons just sort of keep it all in one tone. Um, so let me know what you think, if you prefer the cream or if you prefer the black trench or neither if leather trenches are not for you and that is absolutely everything from today's haul so yeah if you did stay with us for the whole thing well done because it's a bloody long one like i said a few mix match pieces but all in all some really nice finds it's just needed to style them in different ways than i had intended in my mind but yeah the blazers probably i would say are my favorite and some of those little basics i'll definitely be keeping or just swapping the size for um, and getting some new ones off. So let me know if you do pick anything up. Thank you so much guys for watching today's video. Just a little reminder of the HelloFresh discount code. It's an absolutely epic saving. And as I mentioned at the start, you can get it off if you are 
someone who's shopped with them before, whereas normally it's just for new customers. So this is a really exciting offer and I'm so excited to share it with you. Make sure you scan the QR code on the screen, pause it now and then scan it with your camera or you can um, shop via the link below in the description box. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and providing the goods, um, making my life so much easier because tell you what, I'm sick of having spaghetti bolognese every week like I normally do. <laughs> So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe and like, and leave me a favorite of your comment from today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.